Hi everyone, my name is Caroline and I'm the member of the support team for Live Chat Solution by Provide Support Company. And today I'll show you how to set up, customize and use Iro Live Chat. All right, so right now I'm sharing my screen. So first of all, you have to go to the providesupport.com website. Here you can see the free trial button. We just click here. All that we need at this point, um, it's just you have to create the account name, password, and email address. So for example, we're creating a Caroline account, then password, and email address. Okay. Then we click 10 day, start 10 day free trial. And I would like to mention that um, this is a fully featured period. You can uh, use all the features, you can customize the chat and see how it works. So let's start. All right, so right here, after you signed up, you will see the wizard, uh, which will help you to set up the chat and start using it. So the first step, is uh, you'll see the chat snippet that you have to copy and paste to the website source code. Okay, you can copy it here. Also, uh, we have the, um, if you use any CMS, we have plugins for them. For example, plugin for WordPress, the special code for Wix and app for Shopify. Okay, let's cl click to next. Okay, on the step number two, you'll see the all the chat agent apps that we offer. We have one for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, for iOS, so you can use it on your mobile phone, and for Android. Also, by default, here is account name, operator login, and operator password that you will have, and you can use it for now to see how it works. Also, at this point, you can log into our web agent app. Okay, so this is how our web um, agent app looks like, and you can open it in the browser uh, at any time on any computer. We'll hide it for now. All of the agent apps you'll be able to find later here under apps. So if you'll click on it, it will send you a different web page and you will see all the applications that we offer. So the web chat agent app, desktop agent apps and mobile chat agent apps. Okay, so let's go back to our wizard so we can finish setting up. Okay, let's click on next. Okay, this is a step number three, and this is how the live chat button looks at this moment, but later you'll be able to change the shape and the color so it will fit your uh, website design um, better. Let's click on next. Okay, here is the first step, and here uh, we can see the links on the essential account settings, and a little bit later we will review them all uh, but right now we'll finish the wizard and we'll see how the chat works. Let's click on finish. Okay, so right now we'll go to our dashboard. Okay, on this page, uh, this is account dashboard and you can see here the actual information about the account. For example, you can see how many operators are online and how many operators are away. Uh, the actual statistics for the last seven days, which I don't have at this moment because this is a new account. Um, and also you can see the billing information right here. So right now we have free trial. If you would like to purchase a subscription, you can do it from here. You can see that when the trial started and trial expires, and the bill and email address and your account balance. Also on this page, you can see the links to the agent app. So at any time from this page, you can click on any of them and download the um, last version of the agent app. Okay, right now let's take a look on the settings and customization of the chat uh, in details. And uh, I will start with the structure of your support team. So for this, you will need to go to operators and departments right here. 
Okay, so by default, we have three operators and one department. Uh, in order to make your chat work, you'll need um, to have uh, at least one operator to be assigned to at least one department. So for now, for this customer service department, we have three operators assigned. Here you can uh, customize your operators. For example, let's start with the first one. So right here is the edit button. You click on it. Okay, in this page, you can update your operator profile. So as I said, by default, you have three operators, one, two, and three. So we're editing operator one. So we're changing the login. We'll keep it operator Caroline. Create the password. Uh, change the nickname to operator Caroline. The full name. And we will add the email address. And here you can choose if you would like all the uh, transcripts for this operator to be sent to the email address right here. Okay, and also uh, the next step you can uh, assign, I mean, you have to assign at least one operator to at least one department and you can choose from the list of departments. So for now we have only one, but you will be able to see more here if you will create more and just choose the department that you would like this operator to be assigned. Here you can choose the operator pictures. We have a gallery that you can choose from. Okay, it's right here. Also, you can upload your own picture here, but if you don't want to use any pictures, you can just uh, enable this option here. So we click Save, and we can see that operator profile Caroline was updated successfully. All right. Also, as I said, you can see here uh, which operators are online or offline. So at this moment, we have one operator, Caroline, is online. And also, sometimes operators forget to log out, and you can log them out here. Just click on this button. Okay, after creating the operator and changing the details, we'll go to account settings. And here you'll be able to see the list of all features that we have. So we'll start with account profile. Click here. Right here, you can change the password to a new one. Uh, you'll see the primary email address. This is the one that you use for the registration. And this is an email address where all chat transcripts and offline messages will go. If you would like to specify an alternative email address, you'll be able to do it later. Right here, you can add the business name, the contact person, and the phone number. I would like to mention that this email address will be used if you forgot the password, so make sure that this is the actual email address and you can have access to it at any time. Okay, let's jump to another feature, which is chat statistics. Chat statistics is a really good, cool feature that will allow you to collect the information about the usage of the chat. So here you can either create a new password or you can open chat statistics application. So the first time is overview. And here you can choose the period of time that you would like to see statistics for. For example, we're choosing today and we can see that our chat was online for one hour, 29 minutes and offline for 22 hours and 30 minutes. Uh, we can also see averages and the average and common chat per day, average and common chat per hour, the accepted chat per day, accepted chat per hour, and average chat acceptance time. Then we can see uh, how many times the pre-chat survey was loaded and offline form, which is zero at this moment because uh, as we didn't test it, so we don't see any numbers here. I would like to mention that you can download the CSV file with the statistics to your computer. So here we can see uh, the statistics for company, agents, and departments. 
we can see different numbers. If we want to change the graph, we can just highlight it and it will be added here. For example, we need this, that. So we can change and see the graph. So for agents, it's really helpful if you need to see how your engine perform. So for example, for now I have performance only for Caroline and we can see the load rate, the average chat accept time, proactive chat sent, uh, proactive chat accepted, the proactive chat declined, online time, away time, offline time, proficiency and politeness. We can also download this uh, information as a CSV file. The next one is departments. And as we have only one, we also have the information for one department. We see accepted chats, load rate, average chat, accept time, online time, offline time, proficiency and politeness. Here also we can see the website traffic for the visited pages and refers and chat refers here. So this information is pretty helpful. Uh, it will allow you to see how your chat works, how it helps your business and how your agents and departments perform. Okay, so let's go to the next feature. And the next one is block visitors. Okay, on this page, uh, you can block access to your chat. You can limit access to your live chat from specific URLs. You can block access uh, for the um, IP addresses and limit access to your live chat from specific countries. And you can add it here, here, and you can select the country. And also you can choose if you would like to allow or block an access from this specific country or from this specific URL. Okay, so the next one is a chat window type. For a long time, we offer our users the modern embedded chat window, which is actually looks uh, like the Facebook Messenger. And you can see it here, for example. Let me show you. All right. So this is how it looks, the, the modern one. But we still have some clients uh, which are using the old version uh, of the chat window. Uh, and on this page, they can uh, switch it to the new one. And if you're testing, let me close this. And if you're testing, you can add the IP addresses and limit uh, the modern chat window visibility um, for the specific IP addresses for testing purposes. The next one is a live chat window. Okay, so here you can see um, this screen is divided in two parts. So the left part is the settings and the um, right part is a preview. You can see the pre-chat survey, offline form, a chat room preview here. And you can play with settings on the left side. So you can choose the color scheme, uh, the chat window basic color. Yeah, we can change it to green, orange, and any else. Uh, also, the size, you can um, set up the height and width. Uh, you can add the company logo to the chat window or you can hide it. Here, um, you can see the current chat icon that you have for the account. You can change the shape to round, rectangular, or the custom. You can change the color scheme. Um, and you can also on this page select chat icons from our gallery. Okay, so we have uh, chat icons, uh, different languages. We have um, holiday chat icons. All right, this is our gallery. So we have a bunch of them that will fit your website design. And you can also here upload your own images. Okay, let's scroll down. Here you can also change the appearance of the chat button on the mobile, uh, either show or make it smaller or hide the chat button. And I would like to mention that any device with a width of 576 pixels and less 
uh, we count at the mobile. All right, so let's scroll down. So here you can change the positioning. Also, if you would like to open the chat window uh, as a pop-up, you can enable this feature here. Also, you can change the text. For example, here we have online. On the offline form, we have leave a message. And on the chat room, we have online chat. And also we can change text here. For example, let's change for offline form. We are not available here. Also, if you would like to change, so for now the default visitor nickname is a guest, but um, if you would like, you can change it to visitor. And Okay, so here visitor and we can change back to guest. Okay, you can see that it has been changed. And this is uh, how our chat room looks like. You can see operator, the guest, or your website visitors messages. So here we have features that you can enable or disable if you would like to allow um, the file transfer. Uh, you can allow uh, the chat transcript printing, chat transcript emailing. If you're hiding, for example, this feature, the envelope will be hidden or you can allow it here. You can allow switching off sound notification. Again, you can see it changing here. Okay. Here is a show notification when operator is typing. We don't have it now, but right now it just appeared here. The timestamps and the web links preview. All right. If you would like to preview it on your own website, you can just paste the URL here. I also would like to mention about your company logo in the header. Uh, here you can edit it. You can zoom in or zoom out. You can select the logo from our gallery or you can upload your own. Okay, let's go back to the list of our settings. The next one is images. So um, this is a page where you can choose the header background picture and chat icons. You can still change them on the live chat window page, but also uh, you can add your own file here upload your own image for the chat icons or select from the gallery. Okay, so the next one is a pre-chat survey. Okay, so this is a pre-chat survey page uh, where you can um, create fields that you would like your website visitors to fill out before they will jump into the chat with your operator. And actually I'll show you on our own chat. So here we uh, have your name, your um, account name and the question, and these two fields are required. And on this pre-chat survey page, you can add or delete the fields that you would like to have on the form. You can also choose if you would like to skip the pre-chat survey. So let's create a new one. We click on add new field. So for example, we would like to get the email we choose the field type as an email address and we would like this field to be required. Click on create. And here we can see it. And also uh, if you would like to edit fields, you can do that here. Or you can change the order of the fields. If you would like, for example, the email address to be the first one and then the email, uh, I'm sorry, and then the name and the question. 
Okay, so let's go to the next one. And it's a post chat survey. Here you can enable the post chat survey. Uh, so at this moment, uh, it is already enabled by default. Um, you can upload your own design. If you need it, you can just download our current post chat survey zip file, customize it, and then upload it back. Okay, let's jump to another one and it's offline form. So offline form can be used uh, when your chat is offline. Then uh, after clicking on the chat icon right here, uh, the offline form will be shown up and your visitors will be able to leave their information so you could contact them later. You may need such an information, such as email address, their name, their phone number, uh, or anything else. Okay, here you can add new field. It works almost the same way as the pre-chat survey. You can add it or remove fields, or you can also change the order of them. Next one is system messages. So system messages are used on pre-chat and offline forms, and also um, they're shown up uh, in the text of the chat when um, some actions are happening. For example, when operator accepting the chat or when the visitor uh, is leaving the chat or operator inviting another operator into the chat, you can set up which messages will be shown up in the chat and which will not. Also, you can uh, change the text uh, of the messages on your own, but don't forget to keep the substitution in room, um, visitor, operator, and etc. So uh, I'll just show real quick here. We have um, already by default some messages for pre-chat, survey text, uh, offline form text, uh, company welcome message. So here, as I previously mentioned, uh, please keep the substitutions, in this case, visitor, and it will be changed automatically to the visitor nickname. And it's the same. So for each message, you'll be able to see all the substitutions that are used in this specific message, and we're asking you to keep them. Okay, let's jump to the another one, and it's an eye catcher. Eyecatcher uh, is a small text bubble which helps to make your chat more visible uh, and it will be shown right here with text. Okay, let's enable eyecatcher here. Here you can change the display delay. For example, I have 30 seconds, but you can change this number. The next one is eyecatcher display frequency. You can choose on each page load or next visit or every uh, 300 seconds, or you can change the number as well. Also, uh, you can customize the eyecatcher text, the appearance with text color, background color, and border color. Okay, the next one is a chat invitation feature. And this is how it looks like. So with the help of this feature, um, the operators, they can invite visitors to chat proactively, for example, if operators see that visitor is not completing the purchase or um, that the visitor is jumping uh, from one page to another for a long time and um, cannot make a choice. So this invite will be shown with a greeting message that the operator will type and visitor can either accept or um, decline the chat. If the visitor will decide to accept the chat, um, they can uh, type their name. In case if you uh, don't like the invite from our gallery, you can upload your own background and uh, with the help of the settings, you can put the um, active zone uh, on the bottoms and input fields. Okay, so this is how it looks by default. Um, you can change the position on all the operator picture, greeting message, accept button, decline button, close button, and nickname input. Let's check what we have in our gallery. Okay, so we have different colors, different languages. Yeah, 
so you can change it here. You can click on show more designs and see other designs. And also you can change the chat invitation positioning on the visitor's browser screen. Um, either you want it to be shown on the, in the center or uh, you would like to set a specific position for the visitor browser window. You can do it here. Okay, so the next one is offline settings. So we have three options for offline settings. And this is that I mentioned before when we were uh, talking about the offline form. So for offline settings, we have the first option is to show offline chat button on your website and open the offline form with the fields that the visitor will fill out and this um, message will be sent to the email address here. The second option, you can choose to show offline chat button on the website and redirect visitors to a different web page. And the third option is do not show offline chat button on my website. So when no operators are online and you choose this option, then no chat button will be shown on your website. Okay, let's jump to another setting, which is privacy. Of course, we all understand that nowadays the privacy is very important and we are giving our users the ability to set the chat in a way so it would be compliant with modern privacy regulations. So here um, you have the option to remove the personal data um, from the monitoring transcripts or offline uh, messages, just in case if you need. Also, you can add a personal data processing consent here to pre-chat survey to offline form. And here you can add the text. Okay, so the next setting is the regional setting. In this regional settings, you can change the language of your chat. Also, if you're changing the language, all non-customized text that you have in the chat window and uh, also the post chat survey and other uh, resources. And if any of the text has been changed by you, we will ask your approval before changing them into default. And I would like to mention that we have 41 languages. You see the list of the languages here. You can change the time zone and email encoding here. The next is a chat management. Okay, so the chat management here, you can choose the call distribution method. We have five options. The first is to all operators, uh, the random, the load balance random, round robin and loaded balance round robin. You can read the descriptions of them here. And also you can choose if you would like to close the chat room automatically in um, the specific number of minutes after the visitor has left the chat conversation. And this is a really useful feature in case if you have lots of chats and you just don't have, I mean, your operators, they don't have enough time to close them all and, and check if this conversation was over. Okay, let's jump to the, another one the chat transcripts. And here you can enable the sending chat transcripts by email. Um, all the chat transcripts by default will be sent to the primary email address that you entered when you created the uh, account and you can change it in your account profile. Uh, also, you can enter an optional alternative email address for chat transcripts. It's just in case if you have large amounts of transcript traffic, uh, you may want to send them into a different email address rather than into your primary email address. And uh, I also would like to mention that you can add uh, up to five comma separated emails uh, just in case if you would like to receive into, diff uh, into few uh, email addresses. And also the Last one is a missed chat email. Uh, you can also, this is an optional, you can enter uh, the email address for missed chat emails. So when your operator is missing any chats, for example, someone entered their information uh, into the pre-chat survey, um, they got the, their question, their name, their email address, but uh, no one answered to their chat. So this one will be sent to the uh, email address that you'll put here and you will be able to go back uh, to this missed chats and contact the 
uh, website visitor who were trying to reach you. Okay, the next one is connection. So on all new accounts, um, the uh, secure connection is enabled by default. And we recommend to keep it enabled just in case that all conversation with your customers will be handled by encrypted channel. The next one is online presence monitoring. Online presence monitoring uh, will allow you to make sure that your chat is uh, either online or offline. So for example, if um, you, uh, you work in hours um, 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. Uh, and you would like to make sure that the chat is online during this time, you can um, enable the send alert when my account stays offline for more than 60 seconds. And if you'll receive this alert to the email address that you will input here, you'll understand that um, your operators are offline and you that you need to take an action and get your chat online. Let's jump to the next one. It's uh, monitoring filtering. So here you can add or remove the specific IP addresses from the monitoring in agent app. This feature can be really helpful if you would like to remove uh, from the monitoring your own employees that are on the website just to make sure that you see only your uh, real customers. Okay, and also you can see here your current IP address if you want to add it. Let's jump to the last one. It's in Google Analytics. This was really um, useful before we had the chat statistics. Uh, you could add the your Google Analytics tracking ID here. In order to see this information, you have to log in into your Google Analytics um, account. And you can see two types of events. Um, the first one is chat started. And this event is pushed once uh, a chat room has been created on the visitor side and the um, pre-chat survey were filled out properly. And the second one is offline message sent. And this event is pushed once um, an offline message has been emailed uh, to you via online form. Okay, and the last but not least, the canned responses. Okay, so canned responses are really useful for your um, operators. We have three different types of canned responses. The first one is company canned responses that is available to all operators. The second one is department canned responses that is available only to operators assigned to a specific department. And the third one is operator canned responses that are available only to a specific operator. So I've created uh, just a few of them to show you. You can add a new one here. You just need to add a title and the text. Also, you can change the position of them. You can edit them clicking on this pencil. And as you can see now, I have uh, one message, one can response. So this feature is really helpful uh, for your operators. It will save the time. Uh, instead of typing or copying the messages to another from the, another document, if they will want to share a link or uh, any instructions, if you have lots of text, you can add it here. And later, I will show you how you can use it uh, in the agent app. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, we'll be happy to answer them. Please let us know. And thank you so much for watching.